case of the Symbols Library. Now, if you're using Adobe Illustrator, you'll have access to the Symbols Library. And this is what really makes these templates awesome. So you'll notice here in the Symbols Library, we've got the front and the back template um, set up here. So uh, if you don't have your Symbols Library open straight away, you can just go to Window and then down to Symbols. And so for this template, um, you'll, you'll see the front and the back option there, but for our all-inclusive packs, you'll have you know, good 60 or 70 templates there, whether it be hoodie or um, singlets, long sleeve t-shirts, women's templates and all that kind of thing. So yeah, these, these symbols library just makes it so much quicker to access the symbols for any document. So it's just a matter of pulling out your template from the swatch, uh, from the symbols library there and resizing it. What you'll notice is that when you click on it, you, do, you don't get in the outlines um, because it yeah, actually comes in as a self-contained symbol here. Um, so what you need to do is right click on this and select break links to symbol. Uh, and that will just break out of that symbol into its own artwork document, um, so artwork piece that you can actually then grab your selection tool and, and color away. Um, so you can right click on that to break links to symbol or if you select that document, uh, sorry, the, the template file and go up to this little arrow, drop down arrow on the symbols uh, library here and then you'll get the option down here, break link to symbol. If we open up a new document here, we'll just go for a, an A4, yeah, that's fine. You'll notice that we don't have our symbols here at all. Um, what we need to actually do so that we can pull our templates into any open document is to save our symbols uh, as their own symbols library. So to do that, we'll just get rid of these ones. To do that, the easiest way is just to, in, your, in the free template, you'll notice that in the symbols library there should only be a front and a back template in the symbols library there at the moment and then what all we need to do is click on the little drop down arrow here again and go down to the very bottom which should say save symbols library and then we're just going to, going to save this symbols library uh, now you can save it anywhere onto the computer and and illustrator will just recognize wherever you've saved it but I just like to keep things a little bit cleaner than that. So I'll put mine actually in the symbols folder for Illustrator. So you can find that in applications. And then if we scroll down to Illustrator, and then we need to go into the presets folder, and then into this ENGB presets folder, and then in we can go down to the symbols folder here, and that's where we need to save it. So when we're saving this, we just need to save it as the name of what we want to see the symbols library from inside Illustrator. So I'm just going to save this as T-shirt templates. Um, now I'm pretty sure I've already saved one in here as T-shirt templates. Yeah, there we go. But that's okay. We'll just replace that one there. Hit replace. And that's it. So now if we go back to our brand new open document here and let's just say I'm working on some sort of artwork and let's just pull in let's just say we just created this artwork and I'm not too sure about the proportions or I actually do just want to mock it up so we can send it off to a, a printer or to a client to get approved all we need to do is go back to our symbols library here and click on the little drop down again uh, and then if we go down to Open Symbols Library, and then we'll see here is T-shirt templates. We've just saved that into the Symbols Library. Now, if you just saved your Symbols Library to anywhere on the computer, your file will actually show up in User Defined. So if it's not in here because you didn't save it in the Symbols Library of Illustrator, uh, yeah, you'll find it down here. So we've already got another one set up there anyway. 
Uh, so let's click on t-shirt templates and there you go. Straight up you've got your templates and it's just a matter of dropping those in. Make those whatever we whatever size we want and we can break those links so that we can use and edit these templates. Let's color those blue. We want the artwork just to see a large version. We want this on top, so I'll just move that to the top. Resize. And there you go. Perfect t-shirt template. See the full range of vector garment templates at prepresstoolkit.com.